Hi, my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today I'm continuing on my series, Feed My People Joy. <laughs> Actually, for my book, Feed My People Joy, and I'm sharing um, on peace. So let's get started right away on that. Um, let's continue on peace. This is some scriptures that give God's definition of peace, and these are from the Old and the New Testament. Um, he says, His continent, his continents upon you <laughs> that you shall lie down and none shall make you afraid that he will rid the evil beasts out of the land things that are needful for the body are peaceful bring peace uh, when nobody moves their tongue against any of your children bring you peace when the Lord is your way and wherever you go the Lord will grant you your petition that you asked of him that's peace and all these scriptures say that this is God's definition of peace when um, peace passes all understanding, it keeps your hearts and your minds through Christ. You have peace when you're saved. You have peace by all means. Um, my cat's licking me. Um, we have uh, peace in the world that we would, might have peace in the world uh, because we overcame the world. Ouch. <laughs> I think my cat's hungry. I'm going to have to feed him. Um, reconciling all things to himself, he made peace. He delivered our soul in peace from the battle that was against us. That's Psalms 55, 18, and that's really a good one. He wants us to have and gave us peace in our borders and fills us with the finest of wheat, length of days, and long life. His ways are pleasantness, and all of our paths are peace. Our children are taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of our children. Um, when the evil beasts cease uh, from out of our land and we dwell in safety in the wilderness, that's peace. A blessing and I will cause showers to come down and shower is a blessing that's what God calls peace and um, that's it for some of the things that he calls peace now I want to remind you that we have a covenant of peace that our covenant our blood covenant is called a covenant of peace um, and it says here um, I the Lord have called thee in righteousness and would hold thy hand hold thy hand and will keep Thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. In other words, Jesus is a covenant of peace for righteousness to bring light, and which is a revelation and demonstration to us. And it's, and why, as I say, it's forty-two six. Why is he uh, to do that? To open the blind eyes, to bring out the pri prisoners out from prison, and to bring them out who sit in darkness from the prison house. So um, we are not to be. Um, a prisoner in any way we're not to have we're not to sit in darkness and we're not to not have understanding our covenant is a covenant of peace it's not a covenant of love it's not a covenant of power it's not a covenant of prosperity it's a covenant of peace and peace means nothing broken nothing missing um, it also says the spirit of the Lord is upon us upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives, to recover his sight to the blind, and set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And um, that is part of our covenant. And then, uh, let's see. Um, Jesus took every. Jesus took on his body the stripes and sorrow and grief and oppression and everything um, that was needful for us to have peace. His, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. In other words, he took everything that causes us not to have peace so that we could have peace. Peace is power and peace works through righteousness. And the work of righteousness shall be peace and the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. So that's why it's so important for you to understand and to walk in your righteousness. Um... Our covenant of peace is our feet walking in authority because Jesus came to show us the way of peace and he put all things under our feet and as he is so are we in this world and and he must reign till he has put all enemies under our feet and our feet are uh, have on the gospel of peace uh, the preparation of the gospel of peace so peace is part of our armor and peace is part of our covenant. But we're to use peace as a tool to bring authority and dominion. Um, 
Let me see here. Okay, you can kind of look at the, the, the whole kingdom thing like this. Okay, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And we're talking about peace today. But you can put all this into perspective by looking at it this way. The kingdom of God is God's authority, dominion, for us to rule and reign. Righteousness is our position that we are right with God as if we've never sinned. We are right no matter what we do when we have Jesus in our heart. We are the righteousness of God. It's not earned. So it's, it's, our, it's where we are. We're back to where we were in the garden as far as our right and peace that we have with God. Then peace is our covenant sealed in the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. It's greater than a promise. And joy is the anointing. The anointing of joy destroy, destroys yokes and bondages. And joy is our strength. Uh, let's see. There's a lot in here about peace. And you're just going to have to buy the book and read it yourself. Kingdom of God is peace. peace. And I think that's all I'm going to go over in this clip. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, in my book here, I go over that peace is uh, substance and power, that God gives us instructions in peace. And peace is prosperity, and peace is for end times. Uh, so you'll have to get my book. And there's something up in that tree. You'll have to get my book and read it to get the rest of the stuff on peace. Um, so that's it for today. My name is Robin. And you're watching Walks of God.